So let's start with our first use case where I want us to understand the relationship between land tenure and land governance. Um, in this case, with the focus on indigenous people and conservation and the success of conservation. So this would be, as we have talked in the lecture, one aspect of how we can assess land tenure regimes and how successful they are. And before we go into really the practical stuff, I would like you to, to guide you through um, four different main sources, uh, which we will make use of. And um, yeah, you would find in there um, data on land tenure and then also data on deforestation, which is obviously quite a prominent measure of conservation and the success of conservation. I've opened these sources already in tabs. Um, so one would be landmark or landmark map. And that's maybe the most prominent global database on indigenous land holdings, communal con conservation areas, um, um, indigenous recognized land, um, also sometimes land which is not officially recognized by governments. It's quite interesting if you're interested in that um, uh, topic to browse uh, through this database or interactive map. The uh, second um, quite interesting database would be the um, World Database on Protected Areas. Um, you can access it via the uh, webpage Protected Planet. And here you would have an overview of all terrestrial and marine protected areas. You can filter them by countries um, or just download the whole area. The third one would be um, Global Forest Watch, which is actually an interactive combination of both or the data we will be using so mostly deforestation data, but then also um, data on protective uh, protected areas, climate and other things. So if you want to, yeah, maybe without doing your own calculations, just learn a little bit about um, deforestation and conservation areas and these kind of things. That's quite a nice database to look at and also interactive map to look at. And then something we will make use of in terms of satellite or remote sense data would be the global deforestation set data set by Hansen et al. And this is implemented quite well in Google Earth Engine. And that's why I want us to use Google Earth Engine to evaluate this data set a bit further. But to have an understanding on how indigenous land tenure and holdings impact deforestation, we would have to download two um, polygons or two areas which we can compare and I have done that by using um, the protected area database. So if you want to follow the practical example um, which I will do now with you together you would have to search for the databases I downloaded and then upload them into Google Earth Engine and then we could do the practical or use case um, practical together. <laughs> 